We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing today? It's hate week still. I mean, it was hate week an hour ago when we recorded uh, the Monday episode, and it's hate week now an hour later. Uh, it's hate week. We're it's, still, to, it's, still, I'm, I'm, it's still hate week. I'm ready to talk about some um The casuals call it here. Thanksgiving. I'm ready to talk of some collegiate chaos here. We we gotta have some um chaos this this last weekend, right? I mean, I mean, you got a lot a lot of the uh, SEC uh, schools are playing their cupcake games this week um, last weekend here. Um, I mean, there's sh- sure sure there's gotta be some upsets this weekend, right? James Madison lost. They did lose. Yeah, I mean that doesn't oh, oh, oh. technically count because the NCAA sucks. Um, and it wasn't going to let them play in a bowl game anyway, but then Appy state ended that and ended that, uh, controversy in, was it double overtime, single overtime? I forget, but yeah, JM, JMU lost. So there's a little tiny bit of chaos for you. Um, I, I think the, I think the only chaos when I'm looking, there's only one game, one game you would, you would consider chaos here. And that's Clemson defeating UNC. Yeah. USC was ranked Clemson, who wasn't 31 20. Clemson actually starting to play some uh, decent football here, but so, so not still, so not to up to par of what they were expecting this year. No, it's, it's been a, it's been a rough year for Clemson for sure. Um, and it's been a, it's been a rough year for uh, USC as well. Certainly not chaos at this point in the year, but USC is still falling off pretty hard. They lost to UCLA badly. I was, mm-hmm. I, yeah, it's it's been it's been a rough go of things for some uh for a couple blue bloods or red bloods, as we like to say on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, uh, moving moving through some these other games here. Notre Dame takes care of business over Wake Forest. Uh, Georgia just showing everybody why Tennessee never should have been ranked. Uh, it absolutely destroys them. In good old Iowa fashion, uh, 15 to 13 victory over Illinois um, marks their spot into the Big Ten championship game. Yeah. Back, back to Georgia Clemson. As, as uh, Austin, who's joined us in the chat, points out what's the likelihood that Tennessee is still somehow ranked after getting demolished by Georgia, Tennessee, find someone who loves you the way the college football playoff committee loves Tennessee. That's all I'm saying. Just to understand it. Like, you you know, they'll be ranked right at 25. They'll be ranked right at 25. I won't say it's a hundred percent chance Austin, but it's it's a it's a sixty percent chance, which is about sixty more percent than it deserves. Oh, I bet my life savings on it. Well, you're a public school teacher, so like who like who the hell did they beat to deserve to be up there? Uh, uh they've had some really good losses, Kyle. They've had oh. some really good losses, and that's what it takes in the SEC. The chat's mad at me now. <laughs> hey, man, don't be mad at me. Be mad at the government that doesn't pay him. I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just pointing out the, the truth. Iowa, 15-13 over Illinois here, Jared. I, I saw this stat here. Hopefully it's true. Ten touchdowns in their eight Big Ten games this season. 10 touchdowns in eight Big Ten games. That's crazy. We were talking about Ohio State getting very close to getting some to getting some shutouts on the Monday episode, but not quite getting the shutouts. Uh, Well, if Ohio State can beat Michigan, and I don't think they're not going to shut out Michigan. But if Ohio State can beat Michigan, maybe you get that shutout in the Big Ten championship game. 
It wouldn't be the first time. They 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 went they win the Big Ten West. And they also have the least amount of points scored in the Big Ten West. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> the Big Ten Here, West I'll, is I'll... such garbage. The Big Ten West is such garbage. I can't. I am so happy the divisions are over starting next year. I am so happy. 118 points this season. Austin, that was our last Big Ten shutout. But not our last shutout. Yep, Big Ten. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's move on. Oklahoma State, 43-30 to 30 victory over Houston. I did not watch that game, so this is the first time I've seen seeing that score there. Did you see any of that, Jared? I did not. I, I stopped caring about the Cowboys after they got... I stopped caring about the Cowboys. I mean, I knew All that right. they lost. I saw the final, but did I see any of the football game? No, I did not. Or excuse me, I know that they won. I don't know why I said lost, mm. but yeah. Uh, Oregon takes care of, takes care of business over Arizona state 49 to 13. Oregon, Florida Kyle, state. I'm telling you right now, mm. I don't think there's nope. a scarier team in the country than Oregon. Mm. No one wants to play Oregon right now. No, absolutely not. That being said, look out for Oregon state next week. It's a rivalry game. Look out. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Bo Florida Nix state. got it together in year 10. Yeah, he's on that JT yeah. Barrett plan. Florida Florida State beats um Northern Alabama handily. They got off to a scare. They like North Alabama 13-0 at the end of the first quarter, but I just I think wanna... But the big, the big sto- the yeah. big story is their quarterback uh, Jordan Travis being out. Out is the out out is the nicest possible way you can mm-hmm. say that. Yes. Um he's I I I know nothing obviously. I not I'm not an Ohio State insider, let alone a Florida State insider, but I, I I don't know if we ever see him play football again. I think it's potentially that bad. Um, I hope I'm wrong. I hope Jordan Travis comes back and plays football somewhere, somehow. But that was bad. Uh, and I hope he's OK. Um, but I, I I'm not going to put money on that. Uh, it was it was bad. And uh, both the. uh I still want to call it the WB, the CW and ESPN kept showing the goddamn replay for some reason. I wouldn't even share that replay in the discord server. I thought about it and I said, no, I better not do that. I'd, I'd feel bad about doing that. And they just kept showing it over and over again. And by the way, North Alabama, just so we're clear is not South Alabama. South Alabama is is, is a, is a, is a decent team for, for a, is a a group of five team that recently became, or excuse me, not a a FBS team that recently became an FBS team. Considering all that, they're not bad. Mm -hmm. This is North Alabama. uh, Who, who is a, Less than 500 team in the FCS. So to go down 13, nothing. I I don't care if it ends up being 58, 13 to go down 13, nothing to Northern Alabama is a hell of a thing. Yeah. Is North Alabama actually in the North of Alabama? Unlike USF. It's a great question. I have no idea. I'm not going to look it up. I, no. We're gonna please we're don't. gonna move on to Tulane. Tulane wins twenty four eight over FAU. Don't care. Briefly talked up. Briefly talked a little bit about Michigan in our last in our um, in yesterday's episode here. Most points they've led up all season here. Huh? Barely, Which, barely come up. Barely be come clear. up with a. Uh, with a win here against Maryland on the road, 31 to 24. 
let, let's just let's just go through the timeline of events here. Mm-hmm. Michigan gets caught cheating. Then they give up the most points they did all year to Purdue. Then they gave up the most points they did all year to Penn State. Then they gave up the most points they did all year to Maryland. They they keep increasing that. They keep increasing it. 13 Purdue, 15 Penn State, 24 Maryland, 100 Ohio State. I mean, it it just keeps going up. (laughs) Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Can you please imagine? (laughs) We need to go back. Can we go back to the old clock rules for this game? I want the old clock rules for this game. I Michigan bleeds and they don't bleed blue. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Just tune in for know your enemy, which will, despite uh, don't, don't let the holiday fool you. We will be releasing know your enemy this Thursday. I might get crazy and release it on a Wednesday night. Who knows? But expect it on Thursday. Louisville beats Miami 38 to 31. I think a lot of people had this as an upset alert here. I, I think did. You, I think this was yours, Jared. It was. All right. Uh, I, I, I think Mar- uh, Miami could have won this game. They just didn't. Uh, you know, sometimes the clock just ends. And that's, thank that's you, what it's Jared. Like. I'm saying sometimes the clock just ends. Sometimes, you know what I mean? Like it's a game that could have just gone in either direction. And eventually the game just has to end. And that, that was, that was one of these games. Mm -hmm. Penn state beats Rutgers 27 to six. Don't let that fool you. It was a very close game. It was, it was 10 to six at halftime, 13 to six at the end of the third quarter. And just, Two, t- two touchdowns in the fourth quarter there. Drew Aller, did you see this? Drew Aller, six for 13 for 79 yards. Wow. That's a that's a J.J. McCarthy type game right there. That is. He's been, for lack of a better, for a lack or a better term, sucking it up the second half of this year. They fired your stitch for a reason. Yeah. Future top 15 pick, J.J. McCarthy. Challenge. (laughs) The number of pass attempts for J.J. McCarthy against Ohio State versus the draft position he gets drafted in. Which one's higher? We let Yerstich walk for a reason. Mm -hmm. Um, Yep. I mean, didn't he, he got a promotion though, right? Didn't he go from a quarterback coach to an OC on his move? Like, yeah, I mean, it's not let him walk is, I mean, he got a promotion. That's just, you know what I mean? Let's see in here. Um, three SEC schools defeat their, their bye weeks here, Alabama, <laughs> Ole Miss and LSU. Well, now hold on there. I don't don't be go, don't be fast forwarding too hard there. Ole Miss struggled hard in the first half against Louisiana Monroe. They piled it on in the third quarter, but my goodness, well we had I had my eye on that game for a minute. Seven three at the end of the first half. Austin tells us not to forget Auburn. We might have forgotten Auburn since. They're not in the top 25, but we should not forget Auburn, Kyle. Yeah. Where, 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 where was that final score? Because it was bad. It was, it was real bad. bad. Yeah. Uh, Cupcake weekend 30, in the 31 SEC. 31 to and... 10. It, it, it wasn't a one score game. It was 31 to 10. Yeah. Okay. I... Okay. Yeah. They scored it. They scored a touchdown at the end to, to make the score look bigger but i th- I don't care 31 to 10 you're gonna you're gonna tell the people who they played new mexico state auburn lost to new mexico state 
the Aggies. Is that correct? Didn't we play that the Aggies correct. a few years back? That is the Aggies. Yeah. New Me- Austin points out New Mexico State got paid one point eight five million dollars to travel to Alabama. To whoop Auburn's ass. That's what you get for Auburn for playing an FBS team the week before the Iron Bowl. You should have played Tennessee Chattanooga. That's, 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 a second t- that's the second time Auburn lost big to, to an Aggies. 31-10 here and 27-10 earlier in the season. Well done, Kyle. Well done. Thank you. Um, Oklahoma squeaks out a win against BYU. 31 to 24. Yeah. I was seeing if you you had anything to say with that. (laughs) Uh, I mean, Oklahoma looks like garbage, quite frankly. Uh, BYU got like their ass kicked by a bunch of Big 12 teams this year. So to see this game be in doubt as late as this game was in doubt is really not a great sign if you're looking for Oklahoma or I mean, yeah. two, Oklahoma seems like the vi- most likely candidate to knock off Texas to maybe free up a college football playoff spot. Um, yeah, two only two wins in the conference for BYU. Who who yeah, are they against? Not, not that who good. Are they it, it was tied. It it was it was tied going into the fourth quarter, twenty four all. Yeah, Kyle. Uh, who 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 did they who did they beat? I want to know uh, if it's a legacy Big 12 member or if it's one of the new Big 12 teams. Cincinnati. Uh-huh. And Texas Tech, who's in the middle of the road there. Oh, okay. So they did beat a legacy Big 12 team. I I I, I haven't did seen be- the, I haven't seen the statistic in a minute, but it was very late in the season until a new Big 12 team beat a legacy Big 12 team. Like it was very late in the season before that happened. BYU did beat Arkansas earlier in the year. And? I just wanted to point that out. Arkansas is garbage. The team who's not garbage that we've been saying for like a month and a half now. Arizona. Yeah. Arizona uh, whoops, whoops on Utah. 42 to 18. We've been Ar- saying it. Arkansas's We've best win is it. Florida. <laughs> Kyle and I were very, very early on that Arizona train. I uh, we 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 were we were early on that bandwagon. Yeah. Um, ever since yeah. Austin, ever since Arizona quarterback. Austin adopted since Arizona's TCU last year injury. early, and he never shut up about it. This this is Arizona is that for us this year, Kyle? Yeah. Ever since Arizona's quarterback injury, and uh, incomes. Freshman, freshman quarterback Noah, uh, coming into this coming into this uh, season here, he's looked good. He's looked really good. What what, what did he do in this game here? Um, twenty two for thirty, two fifty three yards, two touchdowns in the game. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, uh, he's, um, he's been fantastic, and I was never even aware of this guy until he started playing for Arizona. Um, fantastic, fantastic freshman campaign for him. Yeah, absolutely. Dare to say, he, he if there if there is a award, maybe there is one. I don't know. Um, freshman of the year, maybe him. I would say maybe him. Absolutely. I don't. I I I, I challenge anyone to name a better freshman of the year candidate. Kansas State defeats Kansas 31 to 27. I saw a little bit of that. There was a lot of back and forth with yeah. that game going on. Very inter- another entertaining Big 12 matchup there. Missouri squeaks out a win over Florida 33 to 31. Missouri is a team that is like almost very good but not like, I don't know. Florida's not a good football team. Um, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know what to make of Mizzou. Sometimes they just look like a. I don't know. It was fourth and 17. Yes, it was Austin. Uh, Florida could have won that game if they stopped Mizzou on a fourth and 17. 
and they didn't stop nope, Mizzou on the didn't. fourth and 17. Um, Mizzou <laughs> has a very fun offense. I will say that unequivocally about, about Missouri. They have an incredibly mm-hmm. fun offense. Yeah. Washington. Two point victory over Oregon state. Yeah. Yes. It was a night game. Yes. On the road over at, um, over at Oregon state. Yes. It was very cold. Yes. It was very rainy, but they, but Oregon state shut out Washington in the second half. Washington yeah. scored zero points. Got all, all 22 points in the first half there. Yeah. Yeah. Oregon state's a very good football team. They could have beat Washington here. They can beat Oregon next week. Um, just couldn't move the ball enough. No, uh, no, they couldn't. I, I don't know, man, like Washington. I, I ask myself this question frequently. How the hell did Washington beat Oregon? Like I said, it's a question I ask myself a couple times a week. Oregon just looks so much better. And I don't, I don't think it's locked in yet, Kyle. Um, I think Oregon state can still, I think if Oregon state beats Oregon, they go to the, I think they go to the PAC 12 championship game. Is that correct? No. Mm -hmm. Nope. Let me look here. Um, They have to. No, it's no, they don't. No, it's it's set here. It's Washington okay. and Oregon. OK, so, I mean, Oregon will get a, a shot at Washington, uh, a, a, a reshot, a redo against Washington. Oh, um, is it? Hold on. Let's see. Washington. Austin so Washington's says no in. Arizona. He says Arizona still has a shot. I'm curious. So. Throw the standings into the chat, Kyle. Whoa, that's right. Arizona did not play Oregon. For for some reason, I thought I thought they did. Ooh, there's that tie there. I, I don't know what the tiebreaker is. Probably. Maybe it's is it a just the college football playoff rankings? Is that the tiebreaker? If there's not a head to head. It's simple, Austin says. Arizona has the tiebreaker. I'm curious on how how that's determined, but sure. Okay. They need to win and Oregon yes. needs to lose. I mean, yeah, I mean that's yeah. that's a given. But Oregon has the better overall. What what is what is the second tiebreaker? in the pack 12. I don't know the answer to that question. Is it overall record? Is it college football playoff ranking? Um, I don't know the answer to that. I, I, I think we're doing a Kyle, look it up, look it up, Kyle situation. I don't know if he's going to find that quickly or not. Uh, but if Arizona wins and Oregon loses, they'll both be uh, seven and two in the conference. Kyle, interrupt me if you find it. I'm just vamping for you. If if Oregon loses to Oregon State, then Arizona go on on account of their win versus Oregon State. So it's because of because Arizona beat Oregon State and Oregon losing to Oregon State. I guess that's really. That's they should have a so lot who, who of did, common opponents, though. That's why you that's I mean, that's why you yeah. just go conference record. That's why you just go. That's why the conference record exists. It's win percentage against the next highest ranked common opponent. That is incredible. That is so Pac-12. That is the most convoluted tiebreaker I've ever heard in my life. Win percentage against the next highest ranked common opponent. That is so convoluted. Win percentage against the next highest placed common opponent in the standings based 
on the record in all games played within the conference proceeding through the standings. Why, as as Spikes says, why why does it need to be that complicated? Conference record, head to head. Th those should be your first two. The next one either should just be so the college overall. football playoff ranking or the overall ranking. What what is this convoluted ass number three? Why the the Pac twelve deserves its fate. <laughs> the Pac twelve so deserves confusing. its fate. But so listen, confusing. we're Big Ten fans, and it used to be the tiebreaker for the Big Ten to see who got to go to the Rose Bowl was whoever hasn't gone the longest. Yeah, <laughs> which is right, the worst tiebreaker that has ever existed. And the and the last you're the welcome, last game Northwestern. Here. Pat the last Fitzgerald. game here we had, Jared, was, was I'm Texas. I'm not still bitter about it. Texas outlasting um, Iowa State 26 to 16. Yeah, Arizona, or excuse me, Iowa State uh, could have won this game. They could have very easily won this game. Um, would have been huge for uh, everyone rooting for chaos, but uh, didn't didn't quite play out that way. I'm not still mad nope. about Northwestern going to the Rose Bowl. Was it Spikes? Was that 96? 95? Maybe something like that. Yeah, was, I'm not still I'm mad about it. I promise. Nearly 30 years after the fact. I think it was 96. It was it was something in that area. My God. Um, yeah. OK, Kyle, that's those are those are all the games I think that we need to talk about. Let's uh, let's get to the tier list. All right, Kyle, oh, last we left this tier list, we had Georgia number one. We had Ohio State number two. We had Washington number three. We had Michigan number four. Do you have any adjustments you would like to make in this in in our S tier? Nope. Nope. I think the top you four keep them is the still same. solid. You you keep you keep them the same there. Uh, Washington does add on that that nice uh, resume builder with Oregon State that. So they, they got two very, very, very good um, wins in their resume there. Yeah. I'm, cu I'm curious on where the um, where everybody's going to be ranked, because I know that. Where, where, where will Notre Dame be like looking at Ohio State's victories, Penn State, Notre Dame, I think two top 20 victories here and then Washington. Washington may have a better resume than Ohio State, but I think Ohio State, from an eye standpoint, has looked better. Austin, you think that the College Football Playoff Committee is going to jump Ohio State ahead of Georgia? No, no I way. After, after Georgia just dismantled the yeah. darlings of the College Football Playoff Committee, Tennessee? Yeah, no. Georgia's easily number no one way. still. Yes. Unless you're talking about not when Ohio State beats Michigan. Oh, not not the next one, but the next next one. Yeah, gotcha. I'm I'm on board now. Yeah, I think the winner of Ohio State, Michigan, especially if it's Ohio State. You meant our next rankings. Got it. Right. Yeah, uh, especially if it's Ohio State because of their superior resume. Um, I, I think. Ohio State has a decent chance of hopping back into number one should they beat Michigan. Mm -hmm. Michigan won't jump Georgia. I tend to agree. Um, I tend to agree. All right. So A tier, Florida State stays where they're at. The next four there, I think, stays where they're at. And that's all of the one loss teams that we care to talk about okay. <laughs> um, in A tier. Penn State, you can almost move Missouri, 
right there next to Penn State as well, maybe. Yeah, um, Oregon State. But pick, about, yeah, um, but I, I almost. I, but I'll be honest I, with you, Kyle. I almost want to move Penn State down. Um, I, they don't necessarily deserve it, but the picture has fine. become so much more clear that I kind of just yeah, don't even think they belong up there at this point. That's fine. Yep. Yep. They can, they can go down to B tier. I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. They're going to onto the end of B tier, but just for everyone watching in case you're new here, only the S tier is, is ranked as far as the order. None of the other tiers, we don't care about the order of any of them. So um, let's see, Oregon State, even though they they lost their third, I still think they're a really good B tier team. I, I think they can stay B tier. Missouri can stay. Oklahoma can stay. JMU goes down to C tier. Liberty still Liberty still undefeated. They get to stay where they're at. Uh Tulane. Is having a stellar year with one loss. I guess they can stay in B tier. Iowa. Well, they're they're still, as far as I know, they're gonna be they're gonna get they're gonna go to a power or they're gonna go to one of the the New Year's Day bowls as the top as ranked they, group of five, as as long as they keep going. So they as belong long as in they B beat, tier. As long as they beat University of Texas of San Antonio next weekend. The Roadrunners. Yeah, I was about to say Roadrunners. I haven't, I haven't been super following the happenings in, in the uh, group of five this year, but the Roadrunners are typically pretty good. There are only eight teams that can make the playoffs. Austin yeah, says Georgia, Ohio State, Michigan, Washington, Florida State, Texas, Bama, Oregon. So. I, I hear what you're saying, Austin, but I don't want to move Louisville out of the A tier. If if that's if that's the implication. Um, I don't want to I don't want to move Louisville. I I'm not I don't know what type of chaos it would take to get Louisville into the playoffs, but it would be a lot. I don't know if it's too much. Maybe. Maybe. Um, but I, I don't want to move. I don't want to move a top 10 Louis one loss team Louisville, out of here. Louisville needs style points and they didn't get it this weekend against Miami, but they need style points against Kentucky this weekend in a convincing win over Florida State. Florida in the State ACC without championship game. Without Jordan Travis. And I don't even know I don't even know if Florida State beats Florida without Jordan Travis. Yeah, it's the game of backup quarterbacks in that game. Yeah, but one of them's a much worse drop off than the other. <laughs> with all due respect to yeah. Graham Mertz. Okay, um, so A tier good. So B tier. Just let me let me go back here. B tier. I don't know if there's anybody really worth putting up there. Arizona, Arizona and B tier. I agree. I think we actually said last week that if they beat Utah, we'd move them up. Yep. Yeah. I totally agree. I think, I think that's, I think that's fine. And by I the way, they, they, they literally are in the hunt for the PAC 12 championship game, which I think is like a part of our criteria for being not, it's not it the is. entire criteria, but it is part of the criteria uh, for being in, in B tier. Um, it is. Yep. I think I think that's it here. I think that actually think is that, it. Like I, I kind of hate that it was that easy, but I think it's I think it's that easy. Um mm -hmm. is is uh, do we have any new S tier or excuse me, M tier candidates? Hear me out, Auburn to M tier. I'm not was against there even it. A, was there even expectations that's the thing for Auburn. like it really is about a team that failed expectations and i get that losing <laughs> they were favored by 25 i understand but they're what were they expected to do at the beginning of the season it's it's about 25 i know but like we could put oklahoma state 
not lose to an FCS school. God, the chat's making good points. They paid. I mean, Auburn didn't lose to an FCS school, though, did they? Or was no. did that happen earlier in the season? Am I forgetting something? No. Okay. I don't know. Like, it's. No, but it would have been better to lose to some FCS schools. You're not wrong. Um. Yeah, I don't, to to me, the M tier is about having big expectations coming into the season and falling flat on your face. Colorado had so much hype in September. They people were called I literally like anytime even to this even to the end of November, anytime someone farts in Colorado, I get a bleacher report alert about it. Um, Clemson is Clemson. They are a team that is expected to win the conference or at least play for the conference championship game. And then they fell flat on their face hard. USC yeah, is USC. Jared, they four lost by 21 as a 25 point favorite to a non power five team at home, paid them 1.85 million to do it. If that isn't M tier, then what the fuck are we doing? It's an embarrassing weekend. Austin, let me put it to you like this. What you're describing is a monumentally embarrassing weekend. M tier is for teams that are having a monumentally embarrassing season. Does that make sense? It's about you, having you, you, a failure of a season when you are expected to be great. It's not it's just Michigan, about having a it's bad Michigan weekend. App State level. It's Michigan App State level. When you get highly ranked team losing to a team it's, they by never the way, it's have. no. Kyle, I disagree. It's not that. It's not Michigan it losing to App State. It is, however, Michigan losing to App State and then losing to Toledo the next week. It is that. That that that's my point. M tier is about wait. Totally falling on your face for the season not just one bad weekend wait what is that the same year yes Kyle they they lo <laughs> god you're your your memory is going in your Holy in your old shit. age isn't it? it Kyle it was the next week no it wasn't no was there a game in between no, was it they they lost to Oregon the following week and then they lost to Toledo, right? Or am I totally making that up? You are totally making that up. Okay, whatever. Oregon wasn't they Oregon. They lost to Toledo the following year. Fine. But Oregon wasn't Oregon yet that at that point. That was 2007. <laughs> it's not like Oregon is the Oregon we know them to be now. They had um, uh, Dixon. They had Dixon at quarterback there and yeah they they demolish michigan in that game my point but i digress as far as auburn is concerned is that they had no expectations for being anything other than the shitty team in alabama that's it it is about having Big expectations and failing them and not just for a game. But for a season. M tier is a special level of failure. And Auburn came into the season as a failure and they're le leaving the season as a failure. Therefore, they don't qualify as M tier. How getting playoff scenarios you want to run through. this up real quick here playoff scenarios sec champion champion in georgia or alabama are in i agree i just don't see alabama losing to auburn especially after seeing what auburn did this weekend and i don't see 
I don't see Georgia losing to Georgia Tech this yeah. weekend either. I would so say winner, the likelihood winner of either of those in. things happening um, is like 5%. And that's yeah. being insanely generous. Winner of next weekend will and should and will beat Iowa. So the winner of the big of this weekend's game goes on. Call me crazy. Should it be Michigan? I think Iowa's a good matchup for Michigan. I will stand I will stand by that assessment. Ohio State will kill Iowa, they'll just out athlete them. But if we're talking about the type of football that Michigan's been playing this season, Iowa doesn't have an offense, Jared, we know this. But Iowa's defense is built in the exact way that would really screw with Michigan's offense. But Iowa lost to Penn State 31 to nothing. And somehow Drew Aller is a better quarterback than J.J. McCarthy. And yes, I will stand by that. I will stand by that. All right. Um. I'm not saying it's likely. Don't get me wrong. I am saying that Iowa is a much better matchup against Michigan than they are against Ohio State. I'm just tossing that out there. God, I'm I'm, like so much happened this weekend here. I mean, obviously, Florida State losing their quarterback. uh, Yeah. Washington looking very vulnerable here. Uh, I mean, they, they, they play Washington state this weekend. That may not be as easy of a game for Washington or Oregon. Oregon plays Oregon state. That might be a, a dog battle as well too. That's okay. Austin, yeah, this is tough. Austin says, a 12 and 1 Georgia as a non-champion, a 12 and 1 Bama as a champion, 12 and 1 FSU as a non-champ, Louisville 12 and 1 as a champ, Texas 12 and 1 as a champ, 13 and 0 Michigan as a champ. Oh, this was this is easy. This is easy. 11 and 1 Ohio State non-champ. 12 and 1 Oregon as a champ. Washington 12 and 1 not a champ. So Washington's out. This is This is, this is easy. FSU's this is easy. out. So your undefeated your undefeated team is in. That would be Michigan in, in this scenario here. Um next would be Oregon. Oregon would be in. Third would be Texas, Texas would be in. Okay, I'm in Alabama. In Alabama would be in then. Those already, those, those four. You already said Ohio Alabama. State, Ohio, or excuse me, Michigan, Oregon, Texas, Alabama. That 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 would be your four. I don't disagree, although I don't necessarily because you you can't it in in this scenario here how can you how can you put in a 12 and 1 Georgia or an 11 and 1 Ohio State as a non conference champion over teams with one loss as well who are a conference champion like that's that'd be so if that if that happens like I noticed um, we, we, we I noticed so, that so you needed, skipped over Louis the 12 12 team playoff I noticed that you skipped over Louisville as the ACC champ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I did. And, it, and it's and it's based on. Based on. Yes, yes. Louis, Louisville, Louisville, Louisville would beat. I'm getting there. Louisville would beat Florida State. Great. That's a that's a yeah. great win. 
Mich- Michigan would have would beat Ohio State would which would be one of the best wins. Sure. Uh, Alabama would beat Georgia. Georgia, one of the best wins. Sure. Oregon would would beat Washington, one of the best wins here. But I think sure. as a resume as a whole here, I I think I think that they would all of them include including Texas as well, who beat Alabama as well, would would get in over Louisville. I, th- I think just the resume would have Louisville um, be left out. Austin says, okay, what if Texas loses to Oklahoma? Who goes in? It is. Instead my, of Texas. My mind reaches out to Louisville. My mind reaches out to Louisville. Well, don't, don't even just say Louisville or Ohio State. I mean, you got to throw Georgia in the hat, uh, in the in the um in the ring as well too it here's the thing it probably should be louisville it 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 should be it really should be but would it be but would it be so so what it what is louisville in college football laundry matters sorry Perception matters. Laundry matters. But here, here, here's a, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Like Louisville's in, in this in this scenario, Louisville's um, resume, I think, would be a slightly higher than Ohio State's in terms of teams that they've beaten. Please make that case for me. They beat Notre Dame. Ohio State beat Notre Dame. Sure. And so that so the next the next best uh games here would be Ohio State beats Penn State, Louisville beats Florida State, who is a who's currently number four. Let's Florida, let's just State, say that, let, Florida State without Jordan Travis. That, that is that is true still. But man, that's that's and like don't leave that, Georgia that is, and don't leave Georgia out of that convo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it would be Georgia. Georgia currently currently they had they would have uh three because God, because Tennessee is still going to be ranked somehow. They would have three <laughs> top twenty five victories. Kyle, who's Louisville's loss? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a bad loss in Pitt. Kyle, of all of the in all of the teams, if we look at nine teams in this scenario that Austin laid out for us, Georgia's loss is to Bama. Bama's loss is to Texas. Florida State's loss is to Louisville. Texas's loss is to Oklahoma. Michigan doesn't have a loss. Ohio State's loss is to Michigan. Oregon's loss is to Washington. Washington's loss is to Oregon. Every single one of those teams has a high quality loss. Except Louisville. But, but we but we but we've seen the albatross. But we've seen in we we've seen in different years that Let's not forget the one Virginia of the committee, Tech Albatross. One of the committee's big point big points is having a conference champion. They've also called that a tiebreaker. Let's not forget Penn State winning the Big Ten championship game and Ohio State going to the playoffs instead. Not, not when not your conference year. is the ACC. Also a valid point. Um worth noting Kyle that the big 10 sent two teams last year and therefore conference champions were left on the table. The sec has sent multiple teams before leaving conference champions on the table. I I don't know that the conference championship is as powerful as you are currently making it to be. The bit, the big difference though, last year 
the big difference with this one here during this scenario is that you have you would have so many teams with one losses last year last year you had so many or you had so many teams who had two and three losses that were just on the outside i, I th they had it right last year georgia was undefeated tcu michigan and ohio state all with one losses yeah uh, they, they had they had they had that right in in, in that scenario here with this one here with you have pretty much the same record, the same amount of losses here. It's hard. It, it'd be hard for me to sit here and say, nope, Ohio state should get in over Louisville because I, well, I'm not saying that I'm saying Georgia would get in over both of them in that scenario. Georgia has a bunch of quality wins and in most of those quality wins, with the exception of, uh, I think they played Missouri close, but in all those top 25 wins that they have, they slaughtered their opponents. And they almost lost to Auburn. <laughs> Weirdly. <laughs> but, you know, Ohio State has, had, has played some bad teams close this year, too. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, last scenario. We got to, we got to, we have to end it end it Ga here. Ga right Gangland right, asks a question. Over under 0.5. T Cun coaches relieved of duty this week. <laughs> I would love to say over, but I, I think it's under. I would love to say over. I'm just gonna say there was a certain Michigan assistant last week who deleted their Twitter account uh, a couple weeks before national signing day. And I don't know what that means other than it happened. It wasn't Jay Harbaugh. It was. Um, I can't think of his name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they call him Clink, but that's not his name. Um, is it Clink? It's something like that. Austin. Yes. I can't think of his name though. No, not, n not, not that Connor. Um, I think Jay is the one to go. Maybe. Um, all right. Um. In this in this scenario. Um. So one one last scenario here. Ohio State, Florida State, undefeated. Um, conference champions. No, no question. They're in. I just no I'm just going to mark those two in. One and two in that order. Ohio State, Florida State. Yep. Well, maybe Alabama. Uh, well, Alabama is a conference champion. Texas conference champion, and Oregon is a conference champion. The others don't care about honestly. You would put you would put Alabama in because I I think, I think Ohio the way State that they won, recently, Bama two. The way they've been playing recently, and then the a victory over then the number one team there or number two maybe we'll see Georgia yeah that that's going to put Alabama in no questions in my mind then the question's going to be <laughs> could you put Texas in. Could you put Texas in over Alabama, even though Texas <laughs> beat Alabama or Oregon, who's arguably looking like the best team in college football? Oh, boy. <laughs> Especially when you consider Texas beat Bama. Uh, like I. I would say this is the nightmare scenario for the conference. Uh, for the playoff committee you know what i wouldn't say you know what <laughs> yeah I, I'm, I'm just trying to run through different scenarios here i think if i'm going to go off of resume here you, you got to put in oregon you got to put it in oregon over texas here as much as as much as it's like oh well, te well texas beat alabama how is alabama in there That's uh, yeah, that's that's going to be the worst scenario for this committee here. Austin says it's more of a nightmare if Washington beats Oregon. No, it's not. 
It takes Oregon, Oregon's off the table and Washington's automatically in in that scenario. Yeah, Washington's in. Unde- an undefeated conference champ is in, no questions. Yeah, I, I disagree, Austin. Because then it's FSU, OSU, Washington, and one spot left for Texas or Alabama. That That is the one scenario in which the SEC gets left out of the playoffs altogether, which I can't believe I'm even acknowledging that as a possibility. But my God. I, I think that's how, how, how do you choose? I still think they pick Bama. Even I with the, would pick... even with the tiebreaker. I, I honestly, think d- I, I still think they do too. Cause if you look at, if you look at Texas's victories, scroll up a little bit, Florida, uh, Austin, they, they, did, it out. they would have one victory over a, top 10 in Alabama and then one victory over a top 25 in I think it's Kansas State and then you and then you look at Alabama's schedule Alabama has their wins yes they have the one loss to Texas but they have wins over Ole Miss they have wins over LSU Tennessee and then and then Georgia that is that is a very impressive schedule that'd be a very impressive if if Alabama pulls that off Yes, and Texas would flip the fuck out. Yes. Yes, they would. I mean, yeah, because Ohio State's automatically in, Florida State's automatically in. I I'm not leaving Oregon out. Sorry. I, I think I honestly think Oregon might be the best team performing wise. They might be the best performing team in college football right now. And and, and they'd have they'd have some of the best wins too. Like if you're gonna go off of resume yeah, yeah. I, i'd put i put oregon in and then alabama yeah that's the thing i think it's alabama but my god texas fans would be so pissed off and i don't blame them yeah all right we do have to end it right here though jerry we are coming up on the hour mark here on a collegiate chaos episode <laughs> yeah you're 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 high florida if if you think yeah, if you think a 13 and 0 ACC champions not making the playoffs with the branding and laundry that Florida State has, you're high. I don't know what else to tell you. All right, that's the end of the episode. Um uh Kyle, can we skip over plugs in Kyle's corner since we're running long? Yep, let's let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and end it here. All right. Uh Tonight's ending music is Playing to Vapors, one of my favorite bands of all time. Uh, They are, of course, from the Columbus area. Uh, So. Let me. Yeah. uh, Now, just ending, ending the episode. Playing to Vapors. Name of the song is Fire Up Ahead. Playing to Vapors. Fire Up Ahead. uh, Name of the song. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music and, of course, support local podcasters. Once again, Playing to Vapors.